guys um good morning from here welcome to my channel and it is a new vlog um i'm starting this vlog because i put out a post and people said they wanted to see more of a day in the life vlog or videos so i decided to start one today <laughs> so it is saturday morning and um i already started my day right with a couple of things but i just thought that let me still start this vlog. So if you're new on this channel, my name is Kemi. I'm an, an and I am a Nigerian YouTuber living in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And to my returning subscribers, you guys already know the deal, right? You know this little one right here, Ayofe. And um, so let's get started with the vlog. Please show me some love, like, subscribe, drop a comment in the comment section, turn on post notifications, you know, whatever speaks to you or whatever questions you might have in the course of the vlog, please just ask in the comment section. And I'll be sure to answer you. Okay. Boy, Thank you. Boy, boy, yes, you want to show them that. So we made this yesterday. I have had no school yesterday and I was also working from home. So we decided to do some crafts because of course she loves crafts. So we made a bunny. Yeah. We bought some <laughs> art supplies from Dorama and made a bunny. She's so proud of herself right now that she made this. So boy, boy, boy. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Good bunny, yummy. <laughs> Yeah, so I have a couple of activities lined up for today. We are, we have skating, ice skating lessons today. And um, I'm going to, you guys must have seen some part of it in the last video. I'm going to do like a whole, for the skating classes, we have to dress up. Like last week was our first class and we were not prepared. It was the first time we were not sure what to do. So we were not prepared. We did not wear the proper gears. We were supposed to wear proper winter gears winter jacket winter pants snow pants and all of that what? but snow this pants? yeah you're gonna wear snow pants so this week we're going to do that um the helmet we had last week was not the right size it said it wasn't covering our forehead properly just in case she falls and all of that so we had to get another one from um uh, no, no. no from facebook marketplace if i just this morning go and bring your skates so we got new skate new sorry helmets what wait hope your skates are not in that this car are not in the car it is, I just, I don't know. your high skates no i think it's in, it's in store is in storage i think daddy put it in, in i think it should be in the storage so yeah um we're going to prepare for that so we're going to be taking uber for that because daddy went and i have checked who back to send it out to so that place is 22 dollars imagine so i was thinking of us taking a bus but if we decide to take a bus, a bus is going to take one hour, a car is 15 minutes, and how are we going to be packing all of the... I'm just trying to look like saving money here because a whooping $22 to just spending $6 on a bus, there's a lot of difference. So go start your morning chores so we can brush your teeth. So you do yours, I'll do mine. Okay. Yesterday was Friday, I didn't see the need of... You know, there are sometimes you just want to lounge and relax, so usually... I'll clear the sink before going to bed. The kitchen sink, but yesterday I was just like, no one's going to catch me, okay? I can choose not to. Why not? So, yes, I'm just going to do that this morning, and she's going to do her chores. Take off your jacket. And um, enjoy the rest of the vlog, guys, okay? And the mess you made here. You see? Can you see what is going on right here? This is what happens when you have a toddler in the house. Can you see, guys? Toddler. You're a toddler. Can you see? Can you see all our all our art supplies and your first fans? Can you see? There is one more here. Can you see all she does? Whenever we have cattle, we just recycle it and use it for and your first project. Oh yeah, we also made a bead. We bought this from Dollarama yesterday. We made a necklace and it was so beautiful. It's in your room. We made this necklace yesterday. For Iron Fair, so yeah, Baba. she has a yeah. Barbie necklace now. Do you want to see me? Come to this side. Mmm, nice. It's, it's, yeah, it's okay like that. I'm a Barbie girl, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic, it's fantastic. You can brush my hair.
Second one, I hold it to the door, don't worry. <laughs> Boots, please. Open the trunk, Abby. Yeah, my show. You want to my show? My show. What? Hi guys, welcome back. So, um, just like we started, as you can see, we're back from skating, and then I realized that it's actually been a while since I've done a shopping vlog or a shopping video where I go shopping and I come back. So, um, we're at Costco and um normally i'll do costco and superstore but i already did superstore on friday was it thursday on th like this past day so that means because there are some things i do not need to buy in big quantities or in large quantities or some things that i just need really urgently and superstore is really close by so i just go into superstore and also because there are some things that i found that i don't see in costco so i usually need to go buy like i first cereal i don't find them in i don't find i first cereal in um costco another thing is milk so i found out that if i buy the big milk the four liters it gets bad before the best before date and i've noticed that when it gets to maybe one to two days before the best before date it starts to smell please let me know if you feel that way in the comment section it starts to smell really bad usually i'll buy the big container let me show you guys i do not have that anymore i don't have the container so usually i buy a three or four liters milk jar but i notice that it goes bad and the liquid milk is just me that i use it for maybe tea and cereal and i offer for cereal and and shit or chocolate yeah tea too i use them for tea so now i just buy 
this size which is what what size is this this is a liter so at least i and this one is going to expire october 70. today is october today is 14th right yeah so today is october 14th so i have just three days to go and it's almost somewhere here so i prefer buying it little little although i'm spending more money because the price difference between the one liter and four liter is very small but i really don't mind doing that compared to wasting it so in costco what i bought today i think i already gave you guys just on apples i bought these apples at um where's my where's the receipts i bought it hello okay show yourself and go away no i don't go away mm. can't give this to your daddy oh too too okay so usually so that apple this is a one two three four five six i think it's about 10 or 12 and i bought it for i bought it for 9.99 if i was to buy this sing singly if i was to buy this in superstore i would be spending it like 15 or something dollars so this makes sense i bought apples but chicken so there's this pack of three chickens that i bought for 31 42 almost 32 dollars now this is it i buy chicken breast a lot chicken fillet a lot i use it for so many things i use it for sandwiches for wraps i use it for salads chicken salad and all of so many things i use them for please can you turn down the volume a little thank you so if you know if you don't know how to do this i will show you so usually i just buy full chicken the soft full chicken and then i take out six breasts from it ah, how can you take out a breast <laughs> Not that breast. I mean chicken breast. <laughs> oh, I, that chicken. I will show you. So I take out six chicken breasts from this and I still have other parts. Now, if I were to buy that six chicken breasts on its own, that is only chicken fillet, I'm going to spend like $22, $23 just for six chicken fillet. Now I'm buying three full chickens for Thirty-one forty-two. So that means at the end of the day, I'll remove the six chicken fillet, and I still have other parts. I have six thighs, um, yeah, six wings, and other parts to enjoy for the next two weeks. Can you move? Move. <laughs> I want to say the chicken breast. Don't worry, really get the G. So that's one way to save money. There's someone who buys a lot of chicken and you also use chicken fillet. Just do it that way, okay? Buy full chicken. Now this is approximately like $12, $12 for one. It's not equal to $12. Let's say eleven dollars per one. And you will never get a full chicken at eleven dollars per one anywhere. You will never get it. I mean this kind of soft things. Can you move to this side? Or move to this side. Yeah. You stay by the side. No. So that's a good deal for you if you're someone who likes that. Move now. Oh yeah, you have it. So another thing I bought is wings. Wings yay. is basically for our first school lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's easier to fit wings in a in a lunch bag. In a lunch flask. In a flask. So I buy chicken yeah. wings for her, and I just. Try do everything. Later. She takes like two or three of these to lunch every day. Three? Every single day. I, I take three. So, <laughs> can you move, please? Thank yes, you. I am. Move down. No. There. Let's take a picture. <laughs> so, no, you did not take a picture with me. I'm sorry, so there. This was, I think, around thirty dollars or so. This is I was not in the picture. The cold is coming. Winter is coming, so I had to buy one of these. It's reversible shepherd plush blanket. I don't know. Well, it's a big size. It's for king size, and it was about maybe. Okay, I have to sit here. This was. Uh, ooh, it was thirty-five dollars. So this is thirty-five dollars. They have different sizes. Different. They are for kids also. Stop now. Ah. You are stressing you me out, one for me. You have one. No, I don't. You want another one? You have one. I don't have. 
You do. What do you use every night? No, bro. One more is not like this one. Okay, we'll buy another one. Is that okay? We'll buy another one. So this is king size thirty five dollars for. <laughs> See your daddy. He just reversed. <laughs> To see you on this channel, though. some people have been asking for you. On the street, <laughs> oh my goodness, it won't work, it won't come here. <laughs> so, another thing we bought is kitchen towel, a pack of 12. Oh, a pack of 12 of these was um. Twenty-eight dollars. Ah, bye bye. Now you, ah, you can see I have a cold. I'm not feeling why. Fine. Yeah, be angry. Anyone? Another one is kitchen. Ah, I said kitchen. Bath soap. I bought this Irish Spring pack of twenty bars. Was fifteen forty-nine. So let's say sixteen dollars. Bath soap. Are you crying? And then, of course, school snack. We've got another school snack. This is a pack of. Are you actually crying? 32. Pack of 32 is $12. I think it's okay. Compared to usually, I'll buy the big one and then I take one by one too. But this one is good. You can just give them one. And pack of 30 is $12. If you buy the big one, the big one is about $3. I think this makes sense, this space. So I think we covered everything. Maybe I'll just show you. This was one of the things I bought in Superstore, also for school snack. This time you spend more money because the kids are going to school. You have to pack, I think, two different snacks. While your fish has she has before school, she has after school, she has two snacks in school. So a lot of snacks. So I bought this one. Of course, I checked the label. It has just five grams of sugar per one bottle. And she doesn't take it every day. I'm taking it like two or three times a week. Also, most importantly, is a yogurt, one cup size that we take to school. So very soon I'm going to do a um Get ready with IFA for school video where you're gonna see like how we do everything. We have to put an ice pack in the lunch bag, all of that. That's not really what this video is about. So that's it. Also, very soon I'm going to do a video on how to save money shopping here. It's a very essential skill that you need to have. Or else, at least saving two, three, four, five dollars every time you go shopping is going to tell a difference in your bank account in your wallet okay hope you are enjoying this video if you do let me know what you enjoy in the comment section let me know if there's any other question about shopping you'd like to ask um so we'll continue the video again some other time all right bye guys if i come and say bye stop crying people want to see you come and say bye see you again later come and tell them see you again later we need to eat lunch now we're hungry Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on, very well so they can see you. See you. You were not even crying, you were just doing demo for me. Oh, you were crying. See water. Oh, she's actually crying. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye guys. Another thing that I remember is salt. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but getting table salt in Canada has been a hustle for a while now it's been a difficult thing like you go to stores and you won't see table salt you won't see table salt so for some time i've been using sea salt last time i bought sea salt in costco last time i went to superstore i also bought another sea salt so and then i've checked i don't think there's a difference between sea salt and table salt i i think i checked online but i really couldn't see like a lot of difference i think you can also cook with sea salt they have fine ones they have the coarse ones so let me know in your area in winnipeg especially or if you're in canada anywhere in canada i know this thing has been going on a long time a while so usually when i go into maybe dollarama or dollar tree or the dollar stores and i see salt i'm always happy 
So I went into the Dollarama yesterday and I saw table salts. Look at what I found, guys. I found table salts and I bought three packs. This one is going to last me till January next year and I'm very sure of it. So I bought three and guess what? It's just one dollar. One dollar, one dollar, one dollar. Three dollars. Meanwhile, this sea salt was like five dollars. Imagine, five dollars. So yes, guys, let me know in your area how do you deal with this salt matter? I didn't know salt is something we'll be hustling over. And another thing I wanted to talk about is that my seasoning cubes finally finished after since june 2022 this is october 2023 and my seasoning cubes only just finished and i was like what it has finished so i went to the superstore and i wanted to buy seasoning cube and this was what i found this is not all right it's chicken pulley yeah bullion yeah and i bought it for i think six dollars this thing this thing was six dollars they also had the cube but i thought it was more economical to buy this one it's already in powder form yeah it's already in powder form i just put some into this so that it's easy for me to dispense right so they also had the cube but the cube was one cube was like maybe one dollar something and i said doesn't make sense one cube like this as a one so i thought to buy this one Really, I don't know if it's the same yet because I've not really used it in major cookings. I've only used it in. Uh, I'm not even using it to season yet. So maybe when I use it to season chicken and all that, I will know the difference. So yes, guys, this is some of my discoveries. I just thought to show you guys. It's been a while we've been here. We've talked about cooking stuffs, cooking things. Mm, that's it, guys. want to tell you guys is that adulthood is a scam the time now is almost four o'clock yeah it's almost four o'clock i've been up since morning i've been on my feet apart from the time that i oh i didn't water my plants 
Yeah, I need to water my plants. You see, apart from the time when I had to sit down to heat, like I've been on my feet since morning. And me being someone who loves, I love watching movies, guys. I love watching movies, but I can't remember the last time I said, oh, let me binge watch, or what do they call it? My favorite movie. I can't remember the last time it happened. So right now, now let me give kudos to IFS Daddy. He helps, right? His best part of the job, which is one of those things I don't like doing, is IFS Daddy helps in washing the dishes and washing the bathroom and the toilet. That's his best job. He loves washing. I do. His word is strange, but he loves washing bathroom and toilet. So I just hands off that. Whenever it's dirty, he washes it. And I'm okay, okay. I'm enjoying that. I love that. <laughs> Let me quickly water my plant, guys. So, remember, this was given to me for my birthday. It's an indoor plant. It's actually wet, too. But let me just put in a little water. Just a little. I also have a ZZ here. ZZ is a die-hard plant. If you know indoor plants, it's a die-hard. It can stay. You can decide not to water it for like about a month, and it will be fine. It's a pretty plant. Someone gave me some cutting. That's why you can see just one strand. And I'm sure with time, it's going to grow to become bigger. These, of course, are my birthday cards. They are still lying here. I hope you've watched my birthday vlog, guys. Hope you have. So back to the matter. Right now, Ayafe is not here. He went on a... She... I said, what am I saying? He... <laughs> she went on a play date. I'm just going to grab myself a drink. Take a drink. And rest my back. See if I can watch a movie. I'm gonna drink this ocean spray cranberry. I hope I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna pick myself a straw. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna relax and I'm gonna watch a movie. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <clears throat> Parents in the building, please, I have a question for you. So I don't feel guilty. Are there times when you just feel, you just want that peace and quiet and just like, let these children just go somewhere. I don't want them. And then, when they're gone for long, you're missing them. And you're like, where is she? Oh, she should come home. Oh. My husband accuses me of that a lot. Like when she's not, when she's away from home. And I'm like, oh, yeah, go and pick her up. Go and pick her up. It's like, <laughs> what was your problem? So yes, what should we watch? What was on TV today? And then the Netflix, I don't even know what's on TV. Who has watched um, the new Kulia Flyer movie? If you're from Ni if you're in Nigeria right now, who has watched Ijogbo? Let me know what you think in the comment section. My husband and I kind of watched it. I said kind of because we didn't put all of our hearts to it because it wasn't what we expected, right? And I think there's a lot of Kulia Flyer movies that are like that. Like, there's so much hype, but at the end of the day, when you're watching it, it doesn't quite, you know, it doesn't eat it. So let's see. Maybe I should watch the new Lupin. Yeah, I'm on my profile. Uh, what can I watch? Everyone is watching this Love is Blind. There's this new Beckham movie. No, I think I'll watch Lupin. Who has seen Lupin is like a French. Uh, what part are we now? I think I've watched part one and two. Yeah, I'm watching part three now. Let me watch Lupin and enjoy my life. If you've watched Lupin, let me know, guys. It's a very nice movie. Alright, I'm 
Come, 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 come. Hurry. <laughs> this way. Don't worry. I don't want to capture someone else. Okay, that's why I wanted to. Okay, ready?